<laughs> in this video, revealing how to make money online with Photoshop and how complete beginners are earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More with that after the intro. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasil here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days, so check it out now. So I literally live in one of the most beautiful places in the world because there's so many creative people that are actually going ahead and making a living. Like if you actually see my podcast, you could see that I'm based here in Bali, Indonesia, where I interview a lot of these successful people, like this 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million, and this guy that makes a million dollars per profit, but there's many people that I met in the cafes or when you know I'm surfing or going out to the beach that make a full-time living just utilizing Photoshop. Now the crazy thing about Photoshop is it's easily accessible to anybody and a lot of these people as long as they have Photoshop they can make money from anywhere in the world which is in my opinion the most important thing because I didn't want to be stuck at a 9-5 job my entire life. I didn't want to be working for a boss my entire life. I wanted to use my creative skills and find a way to go ahead and make money online so I could separate my time from my income. Does that make sense? And as long as you have Photoshop or you know how to use Photoshop, there is an opportunity in a play to actually go out and make money. And again, if all this does is even just get you to $100 a day, would it actually be worth it? Because there are some of these methods that I use to literally go from zero to even $346,000. And again, I don't share you this to impress you, but to impress upon you that if I could do it, what's stopping you? Now, the first level that you need to understand if you want to go out and make money with Photoshop is you're going to begin with clients and you're going to move it over to some type of product and service that you actually own or that you partner with, okay? It's literally the sliding scale of business. You have to trade your time for money in the beginning to just make money fast, okay? Because the things of selling your products and services online, that will require time. But if your goal is to make money fast, again, your goal is to find the people that have the most money that need Photoshop and then create a service for them. So the biggest things that, that people literally make money with, for example, with Photoshop, are anything related to businesses. So think about e-commerce businesses, Amazon FBA businesses, and to create a software or service for them where you essentially go ahead and like Photoshop their, their pictures, right? Here's an example of this. You could get clients on Fiverr. If I type in like e-commerce Photoshop, right? You can see that there's some gigs on, for example, Fiverr, where essentially people are going ahead and charging, you know, $5, $10, $5, $10. Now, again, the goal of this isn't essentially go ahead and, for example, make a living off of Fiverr. The goal is to build a relationship with the people that hire you on Fiverr to get them on some type of $1,000 or $2,000 monthly retainer to go ahead and serve them. Does that make sense? So my sister would essentially get clients from, for example, Fiverr. They would pay off one-off fees, right? But then once she has a communication with them and she's talking with them, gets them on Skype and starts asking questions, what else do you need for your business and then she finds out a pain point from this client that literally to the point where she'll they'll they'll pay her like for example a thousand dollars a month so that she could go out and live and travel around the world just for like the photoshop services you could do the exact same thing with upwork people are literally finding clients on upwork if i type in for example photo shop on just upwork you'll see exactly what people get paid look at this 39 dollars an hour from ukraine $60,000 earned, $50 an hour, $9,000 earned, $35 an hour, $10,000 earned. And you can see all of these are Photoshop and Lightroom experts. So again, in the beginning, you do have to trade your time for money because it's the fastest way to make money dealing with people that actually have certain pain points. Now, the next level you wanna go ahead and do is some type of business, okay? So that business requires like, for example, e-commerce. So one way that you could go ahead and leverage your Photoshop skills is just being an e-commerce seller on Amazon. Now, the beauty about Amazon, there's literally millions of people going ahead and buying things from Amazon every single day. Now, the coolest thing about you is if you're a graphic designer, if you understand Photoshop, you can make serious money with Without having any inventory. Here's an example of this. If I type in Beagle gifts for Beagle, like, or let's let's even do cat t-shirts, right? Let's do cat t-shirts today. You can see all of these different t-shirts that are essentially being sold, right? But the coolest thing about this is you don't need any inventory. Which with merch.amazon.com, you can essentially upload your artwork from Photoshop, set a list price, we print what's sold, fashion moon prime, and earn monthly royalties. Now, the beautiful thing about this is one of these designs could potentially make you hundred dollars a month in passive income. So if you have 10 winning designs, that could potentially be a thousand dollars a month in passive income, where Amazon does the shipping, the handling, the customer service, they do all that. It's completely turnkey key. And your goal is to just make as many different designs for as many different niches as possible on Amazon. I would literally do this and find as many different keywords like for example beagle gifts here's another one beagle gifts for beagle lovers you can see here's a t-shirt right there here's uh, another t-shirt right there again I would do something similar like elephants elephant gifts for women right 
I would put all of these words that are popping up in the, in the title of the, of the product that I go out and create and look at it, here's another elephant t-shirt, here's uh, all these other elephant stuff. But you can see that there's a lot of different ways that you could essentially make money with this. If you understand Photoshop, your goal is to just be uploading as many designs on merch.amazon.com because it's free. And you can literally rank for all these keywords. And again, I'll look for things that pop up when you go ahead and, for example, search for them on Amazon because the odds of you being found are a lot higher. Meaning your goal to freedom is literally just create as many designs and throw it up on Amazon as possible. And if you want ideas on it, you can literally go to Pinterest and get an idea about it. I could go to all pins and create cat t-shirt and I can see exactly what people are pinning on Pinterest to see what they want to buy for later. And if you understand and model what's already working and just model it just a little bit and change it, you can literally upload it on merch.amazon and ha start having a bunch of products start already scaling. Does that make sense? Now the next level that I would get if I really got, am good at Photoshop is to start creating content about it, either on a blog or a YouTube channel. The reason about when you create content, it's a lot easier for you to be found. You start moving up in your personal brain. More opportunities are moving your way. When I started documenting the things that I was normally doing with all of the ways that I was making money online, naturally I just started gaining more attention. Now the attention is the most important thing nowadays because attention is what turns into currency. Does that make sense? There's a reason why Kim Kardashian makes so much money because she has a lot of attention. There's a reason why celebrities make us so much money because they have a lot of attention and they turn that attention into dollars. It's why marketing and advertising businesses are huge. Does that make sense? It's why TV shows make a bunch of money because of the audience. Does that make sense? So how I do it is very two simple ways. On my blog and on my YouTube channel. It's as simple as that. I literally create content on my blog and on my YouTube channel. And if you want to go ahead and do something similar, you could do something similar with Photoshop. If I type in Photoshop tutorial, right, I should literally go ahead and create a blog, a YouTube video of all of these things that essentially pop up right? And I should just focus on creating content about Photoshop. The reason why is because you're going to start getting views. I mean, again, these are what people are searching for so people can find you. If you take that YouTube video and throw it on like a blog article, the odds of you being found on Google are a lot higher. You can even grab this uh, blog and throw it up on Pinterest. And now you're, you're being found on Pinterest on, for example, on Google with your blog as well as YouTube. Now all of them are literally seeing you just from you essentially doing little Photoshop tutorials with your things. Now what you can essentially do is something as simple as just signing for Adobe's affiliate program and recommending Photoshop through Adobe and you can see you can literally get paid $72 for the monthly subscriptions whenever someone signs up to be a customer with Photoshop. Does that make sense? Now the reason why I like this is it's a proven product. You don't have to do any selling because Photoshop already has a strong brand and all you're doing is you're building your audience on, for example, YouTube and blogging. And you can see some of these things get a lot of different views, right? And all of these things, you could go out and recommend a product or service or you can do affiliate marketing. And again, I love personally affiliate marketing because I don't have to create the product. I don't have to do any customer service. I don't have to do any shipping handling. Literally, they do all of that and all I have to do is focus on creating content. And that's how I was able to go out and pull in $346,000 in net commissions. If you want to find out how these people made a bunch of money with affiliate marketing, I mean, Dina at 47 years old, went from zero to $30,000 a month in five to eight weeks. And make sure you check out these podcasts and interviews on my channel, as well as checking out this video on this podcast right here, as well as signing for this week's free workshop below. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Woo!